and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So, going back to the video, uh, the previous video that we were talking about, <clears throat> when people use the words steal, I remember a long time ago, we were working in an office and this girl would come out yelling, who stole my stapler? You know, even just yesterday I was talking to my daughter about this and I was just finding that so funny because firstly, in an office, everything's provided by the boss. It's not like we go out to buy our own staplers or any of the, you know, equipment that we use in the office. So firstly, it wasn't hers. She didn't have to buy it. It was just the one that she was given to use in her office, right? So who stole my stapler? Secondly, to me, the word stole shows intention. Because there's a difference saying, you know, who borrowed my stapler? Who took my stapler? Who's got my stapler? Who stole my stapler? Stole. It's, to me, it's a very strong word that is showing intention, you know, from the person that's using it. So over the past two years with all this, this, this new awareness that I've been stepping into, when I send messages to people, there's been a lot of recordings because I have to record the sessions, you know, let people know how their Reiki sessions have gone. And sometimes we share information backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I really pay attention to the words that I use. You know, sometimes those words that you use, if you really pay attention, look at why you chose. Why did I choose that? Why did I choose the word steal? Like something can be taken away from me. I'm an energetic being. Nothing can destroy me. So how can something be taken away from me? Right? It's just impossible. But there's this idea that something can be stolen from us, taken away from us, taken, right? Um, yes, this video is really about you focusing on the words that you use, why you use them. Why do you have that fear, you know? Um, one of the recent conversations was with someone that who traveled a lot, right, in the past. But for some reason, <laughs> They seem to have this fear that if you've got cash on you, it'll be stolen, right? And so one day I had a conversation with them that I didn't want to hear about that anymore because I'm going overseas soon, right, to see my parents at the end of September. I'm hoping to be in South America to see them. And it's really exciting for me, right? But because they kept mentioning that about the money being stolen, the money being stolen, my head started to get all twisted in knots about, you know, Oh, I don't want to take any baggage. I don't want to take any luggage. How am I going to take my cash? How am I going to take my phone? Everything's going to be stolen, right? <laughs> and then I had to stop myself and I thought, wait, 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 wait. Let's back it up a little bit. Firstly, this is not my fear, right? This is just something that they, they keep passing on to me every time they come over and have this conversation, right? It's their fear. And that's something else you're going to have to look at really carefully. The things that you are afraid of or that make you angry, are they even yours? You know, or is it something that's just being conditioned into you and passed down to you? Now, for me, that fear of travel, of all of it, you know, of things being taken while I'm on the plane or whatever, all of that sort of stuff. I had to thank this person because as much as I, you know, at that time I had a heated discussion with the person about stop saying that, right? <laughs> because... If you focus on it, that's what's going to make it come into reality because you're focusing on it, right? That it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, chances are it will happen because that's what you're focusing on. You're focusing on someone stealing from you. You're focusing on someone taking from you. You're focusing. They're your words. They're the words you're using, right? Now, firstly, I always travel with insurance. Even though I haven't traveled in a million years, I will have insurance. So whatever is stolen or taken or whatever, right, lost, whatever words you want to use, they will easily be replaced. I remember in my childhood, a house was broken into once. I think, I'm trying to think how old I was. 13? 12, 13, around that? 14, 13. Let's call it 13. A house was broken into Christmas Eve. We weren't home. Uh, we had insurance, you know. A couple of months later, we had everything back and it was all brand new. So, you know, score. <laughs> so, you know, there's really nothing to be that stressed about because it's all replaceable. It's all replaceable. You're not stressing about things that cannot be replaced, you know, like a partner or a child or something important. You know, these are things that are not. But 
my fear of travel, I realized I have this fear, right? Of, of getting on a plane and the bad things are going to happen. And I just having this discussion with that person brought it all to light. This is what I love about the conversations I have lately. All this stuff comes to light and I'm like, oh, I can let this go now. It's not even mine. <laughs> My mom lost her parents when she was five, right? Both of them passed away at the age of five for her. So as a five-year-old, you're looking into the world and the most important things for you have been taken away from you. Now that is important right? Your parents, they've been taken away from you. So she's gone into life that it's not safe, that it's dangerous in this world. You know, the most important things are going to be taken away from you. That's my mum. I grew up with that conditioning. It's not safe. It's dangerous out there. You know, bad things happen. Oh, the whole, you know, all the time. And um, anyway, so growing up with that you know it's it's been a long time you know for me to actually look at hang on a minute that's not even my fear that's hers you know why do i have to keep living like that you know <laughs> why do i have to take that on it's not even mine right and i've traveled and i've never had a problem ever you know they've all been wonderful trips that i've done um joyous you know um i've had a wonderful time nothing's been taken funny enough the last trip we did all three bags because we took a trip um to vanuatu at the end of last year october all three bags that we had decided to break down like they all lost wheels they all lost handles they, <laughs> they all died that was the only thing that went wrong if you like on the trip but you know in comparison to the 10 days that we had that we enjoyed that we were together you know as a family that was nothing you know my, my daughter keeps talking about when are we going to go back there you know she had such a good time so we bought new bags there right and duty free we got them super cheap so it's all good it's all fixable you know it's not the end of the world it's never the end of the world and even when it's the end of the world a new one is created you know so <laughs> and as infinite beings you get to come back and come back and come back and come back so it never ends you know and people who have had near-death experiences will attest to that you know they will say yes we know that you come back and on the other side they see you know the people that have passed away their relatives and uh there's so many people that talk about it you know so yes there, there is really nothing to be afraid of you know but this video was about you really looking at your words and what you're focusing on because I can honestly tell you, if you are attracting people that are stealing from you, if you're attracting people that are like that, you know, my friend at work, who stole my stapler, right? Things like that. Or, you know, this other person that kept saying, your money's going to be stolen, your money's going to be stolen, that word stolen again. Um, but that's their words, you know? Really look at the words you're using and look at what you're focusing on because I can guarantee whatever's showing up, you're attracting it with your thoughts, with your words, with what you're focusing on. Because wherever you put your energy, you know, we are so powerful that wherever we put our energy, we attract it. We are creators. In case you didn't know, you are a creator. And you might look around and think, oh, this is all yuck. I, don't, I didn't create all this and I'm here to tell you, yes, you did with your words, with your thoughts, especially thoughts about you, about who you are. You know, if you're thinking you're unworthy, if you're thinking you're not deserving, if you're thinking if you have all these old beliefs about yourself, then pretty much, yes, everything that is surrounding you, everything that is around you, you have created 100%. So hmm, maybe it's time to start looking at your thoughts. Start looking at how you think about yourself, what you believe about yourself. Maybe in the next video we'll have a little chat about how we can start looking at ourselves a little bit differently because maybe all of that, you know, the I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm unlovable, all of that, unwanted, invisible, all those beautiful things that we take on when we're young aren't true. It's just our perception of the world at the time creates those beliefs. 
all right my darlings but it's not true because when i see the beautiful angels and the love that they have for you and all they see is your beautiful love and your beautiful light your energy is all they see they don't see anything else they don't see your words they don't see your deeds you know what you've done what you haven't done they don't see any of that they don't care they just see your beautiful energy they see that you're a spirit having a human experience and that's what you need to learn to see that you are a spirit having a human experience all right my darlings i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now